In today's video, we're going to be doing a product review of uh, Trailer Lock. And the reason I wanted to get a Trailer Lock is because I want to put this thing in storage. It is taking up too much room here in the winter. I can't even hook up, up to a plow. In order for me to get a plow, I have to move this trailer out of the way and then hook up to the plow. It's kind of an inconvenience. So trailer's going in storage. But what am I going to do to secure this thing? So I went ahead and ordered a proven lock. I've already been through this before with trailer theft. <sighs> Things happen. People catch you slipping and they steal your trailer. I lost $10,000 in 2021. 10 to 11,000 on just one trailer being stolen. So anyway, don't want that to happen again. So I've got locks now. The dump trailer is already in storage. It's locked. And let's go ahead and open this up and kind of see what how this looks when it as it comes from proven industries. So this isn't sponsored or anything. I just been happy with the lock that I already have on a dump trailer, so figured I'd buy again. Hopefully I can get this open with one hand. Uh, without a knife. Might have to grab a knife. Hold on one second. All right, got the knife. Very curious of how this is gonna look. I mean, I do remember, I mean, I do have the one, and I don't remember opening a box on the other one, so. Let's make a little slit here. Now this whole deal was like 600 bucks because I didn't just get one lock. I got a few. I got a few locks. So it was quite expensive. Now, see what we got here. This is something new that I wanted to get for the doors bigger I got the bigger shank they're aluminum uh, so that way I can lock up the doors now what I tried to do is get everything keyed alike so hopefully they did that right uh, it says that everything in a car is gonna be keyed the same so padlocks lock 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 I got locks and keys one of the things that I was this is a padlock again. So one of the things that, uh, so these are gonna be your padlocks. And I didn't know that you can get this like this from Proven and I just figured I'd do that. Um, one of the things, I should have gotten blue. The, the fact that these are blue, I should have gotten all these in blue. I got red. And that's gonna be a little bit confusing because all of these are gonna be red. And the one that I already have is red, so I should have gotten blue. And that way it would have uh, been different. The red ones would have been different. The blue would have matched the blue padlocks, so I didn't really think that far. I was remember thinking, like, what color should I get? <sighs> so let's get this knife. This is going to be kind of a moment of truth here. Well, now it's like Christmas. It's funny the things that get you excited. Just locking your trailer. It'd be nice if you lived in a world where you didn't have to lock your trailer. Here's the main event. Big lock. Big heavy duty lock. Hopefully I got the right one. There's the lock for it. I guess it's not a big deal to have different colors. Like, I was trying to really match everything up, but at least if the keys are keyed alike. So, here, oh, already dinging it up. So, here's the puck. These p other pucks seem a little bit bigger, in my opinion. They do seem taller, don't they? No? Yeah? These other ones, they have something going on here. They're thicker on the bottom for some reason. Why is that? Does that work with this? Why are they so tall? Interesting. The 
pin is different too, so I might have made a mistake here. Uh, hopefully, I didn't. This opening seems a little different, and the and it has an extra casting on it. So this goes here. This is what came with the lock. I might have messed up here. Hopefully. Why is there an extra? Alright, hold on one second. Okay, so these XL locks, they do work. They just stick out a little bit further. Uh, I don't know what other difference there is with the XL lock. I don't know if it's less secure because it's sticking out a little bit further. But um, what I like is obviously the security. Very nice. Makes it quite a bit harder to steal the trailer. I have extra locks. So I have this. I have one, two. A uh, couple more locks in here, I believe. And that should give me... What do I got? One, two... three four so one of these is going to go in a dump trailer so it's all key to like and that way i just have one key i have tons of extra keys and i'll take the other one that's on the dump trailer and i will be able to uh just save that and use it somewhere else the tr key is the key should work with the padlocks as well and if i really wanted to secure this I could put the same key, I can padlock this down as well so that it's harder to steal the trailer because then you've got to break that padlock and the big lock. What I don't like though already about this one compared to the other one is this this lock will not sit on here without the lock installed. So as soon as you take this off, this whole thing falls off of here and it doesn't stay on there. So that's the one complaint so far not a huge deal but um it it's definitely beefy looking so that's a huge deterrent is it going to be perfect probably not but uh it's better than nothing now i guess we've got our insurance and everything on the trailer so if anything were to really happen i guess we'd lean on that but otherwise uh yeah i gotta get this thing out of this house it's too much here I can't hook up the plows quick and when it say say a snowstorm rolls, rolls in, I can't freaking get going fast. I got to move this and do that. The plow's been on the 250 just consistently because it is too much for me to remove the plow because there's nowhere for me to put it put the plow. Like I parked that plow over there, then it's behind the trailer and I can't really do nothing with it. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put these locks on and see how that works out so this is pretty cool so these padlocks fit a hitch and uh that's pretty secure just for towing because it's just a pin it's locked you can't remove the trailer from the truck if you go into a restaurant i know it sounds crazy but yeah you could crank this trailer off real quick and Especially more so for the uh, for the utility trailers. I was, was worried that you could pick the tongue up on my trailer. You could unhook it and take the whole trailer. So you go sit down somewhere for 30, 40 minutes. Um, one of the things about these XL locks, like I was saying, I didn't know they. I didn't know I ordered the XL. I didn't know they would, if they would fit. Just looking at it, I'm like, dang, this looks different. This puck lock that you usually get does not work on the doors now i was gonna get a bigger lock for my door i got a big lock that i use here for my gate a big uh commercial grade lock that i lock up that gate with um it's got a way bigger shank than this the shank here is it's they call this a medium duty lock this shank isn't huge it wouldn't take much to cut through this probably could break it it's an aluminum body you probably hit that thing and break it it's just nice that it's all key to like i figured i'd give it a shot um this lock here is pretty beefy it's probably gonna be comparable to the big master shank whatever it is high security um 
relatively high security. I mean, don't get me wrong, any of these can be picked. This is probably harder to pick, but I mean, I'm sure if you're watching the lock picking lawyer, you can figure out like how to get this thing off pretty quick. Um, so th what this thing actually fits on this, well, the other ones that not be in the XL series, they don't usually fit here. That's nice that you can just put that here. On the rear, I was going to run these just to lock the rear, but you can't really open the rear because it's backed up against the uh, building, but you can come in here with lock cutters and cut this relatively easily. I could put one of these. I could put another puck lock on the rear. And what's nice about these XL puck locks, I didn't know this. I would have gotten more of these XL puck locks and less. I mean, I would have definitely get, just gotten maybe three more of those if I would have known that they were going to all key alike and lock my trailers up. My dump trailer has this style of lock on the doors. And even though, say you steal the whole trailer and I freaking lock the door and you get it and you got to deal with this. Even if you got away with the trailer, that would be so annoying to deal with, even though you stole the trailer. So definitely very happy with the purchase so far. I got to go and get this trailer out of here. And uh, yeah, hopefully uh, all that goes well and it don't get stolen or broken into. I think I'll be good, though. Comment below and tell me what you think. But this is just a quick review of these uh, locks. But my name is Sean. This is DS Trucks. See you guys in the next one. Over and out.